On my previous videos, you've seen I modified my DeWalt table saw DW744 with a left side table, an in feed table, a cross cut sled, and an out feed table with a retractable uh, shelf extension. Now, one of the things with this modification is that. With the end feed, the on button is underneath here. I can reach it, turn it on and turn it off, but what I want to do is I want to I want to kind of bring that switch up higher and make it more accessible. So what I end up buying, electrical parts, and mainly a bigger paddle off switch and mount somewhere in this area to make it easier to access the turning on and off of the table. Now in addition to turning on the saw itself what I want to do is I also want to be able to wire the switch up so that I can also turn on my saw and off with this switch but as well keep the function of the original switch that came with the saw and in addition I want to be able to operate my dust collection system so that when I turn the saw on it actually turns on my dust collection system that runs underneath my work table and connects into the back of my saw. Let's get started putting this together. Check out before we actually put everything, fasten everything to the saw. Just want to make sure my wiring is correct. So if you see here, I have a light on. Um, I'll plug it and plug it into this one first to make sure that this always works. This switch on this side always stays powered when I have this plugged in. And the switches on outlets on this side are off and on as a function of my pedal off and on switch. So let's plug it in and see what happens. And hopefully no sparks. Okay, 
so far so good. This is sand, if you can see it here. Let me take the camera off. I have 110 volts coming in here. I have the switch over there with light functioning off of the right hand outlets. Now I'm going to unplug it and see if it works for the on off switch. Okay, let's see what happens this time. That works. That works. Okay, so it looks like everything is working correctly. So, what's going to happen is that we're going to hook up here and here the outlets for the saw and for my dust collector. So, whenever I turn this switch on my saw comes on as well as my dust collector comes on now I'm running the saw outlet to here so that I can leave the switch that came with the saw on all the time and for some reason if I'm not using this I can always unplug the saw and use it directly to an outlet and use the on off switch that's provided that came provided with the saw everything is working so let's go forward and do a uh, final connection to the saw itself like this channel please hit the subscribe button but we would appreciate a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video 